right, welcome everyone. This is the Static Site Editor product and design focused weekly kickoff. And we'll jump right in uh, to repeat a few FYIs from this morning for your sake, Michael. Uh, Friends and Family Day is this Friday. Um, everybody recommends this is, if you can take it off. Um, I think it's great that they're doing it again. Uh, I think it's great personally because I, I'm taking next week off. So it's like a bonus day on my vacation so I can pack. Um, I thought about not taking it, but I don't think that would be in the spirit of the, the ask. I, I think I'm just going to tack on a day to my, my time off and come back refreshed. Um, as a result, our synchronous retro call is this Thursday, um, which actually might be Friday your time, which means you should be taking it off. But um, uh the friday morning my time meeting will be moved to thursday mm -hmm. um and our 360 reviews are due next monday so i'm trying to get mine done this week um mm -hmm. and i'm out of our office as i already mentioned so those are the reminders um i didn't have much we spent a little bit of time talking about uh 13.2 and i saw you um left uh, a few comments on the spreadsheet for planning. Um, mm -hmm. We shared that with the engineers this morning and they added a few things in the doc down, down the list uh, that they would like to add uh, for consideration to 13.2 planning. I think all of those were valuable things we should be doing. Um, so we're gonna you know, weigh it all and I'll stack rank them, just kind of top down priorities um, for each team member. And mm -hmm. it seemed like we had a really good handle on, on the general theme, which uh, to my point number two in the agenda doc um, is uh, just getting ready to put it in the handbook. And, um, or I guess my point number two is really what we might want to focus on for 13.3, which is finding a home for the static site editor in the handbook and who is the um, DRI for uh, the overall UX of the handbook. Uh, we can get to that in a second, but the the theme the theme that's coming together for thirteen point two is um, cleaning up the UX, adding um, the last bits of features for non handling non markdown content um, in the WYSIWYG editor, and, uh, and making sure that we have our we put our best foot forward when people at, in, within GitLab really start using this to edit in the handbook, and that includes a, a few extra. Um, handbook issues that I think would make the static site editor more uh, feel more at home and give it a give it a more prominent place when it is ready so um, you've seen the spreadsheet we went over it on the video but um, when I need to add this in the issue uh, for configuring the handbook, but right now we're looking for 13.2 to have a almost like trial run uh, of being in the handbook. So we're probably gonna pick like a category of the handbook, like the product pages um, and put the link there in some fashion. Um, cool. But the architecture of the static site editor means that any URL that, or any page that is supported, you could pass into the static site editor once we do support it, once it's configured to, to work in the, the gitlab.com project or the handbook project, um, any handbook page you pass, any markdown handbook, handbook page you pass into it will work. And it'll just be a little bit of like a, we're not telling anybody yet that that works. <laughs> let's, let's start a little bit small with the product pages, get some feedback from, from product managers and anybody editing those pages and then apply that in 13.3 to, to be more widespread across the handbook. That's my hope anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and I think rounding out the image upload would be a great addition to that. Although I did say uh, in the morning call um, that if that one slipped, I wouldn't block the whole thing. It's not like a hard dependency. Yeah. I just think that that one uh, is going to be something people ask for almost immediately. They're going to, they're going to want to start tweaking images because we heard that already. Um, 
and I think this is a chance. Uh, I added the styling of the markdown content, the issue that you um, created at the end of last week. Um, I think this is just a time to clean up that UX. So uh, adopting the full width editor and improving the success screen, creating that custom toggle between modes and uh, making sure that we're styling the code appropriately. I think all of those things just make sure we have a really good first impression to yeah. get lab team members as they use it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's really my theme. And then uh, the, the second point on the agenda, uh, the handbook doc, as I mentioned, we have a few UX handbook things. Um, I know you're not technically the designer for the handbook and gitlab.com, which is owned by the marketing team. I think this is close enough related to the features that we're working on and mm -hmm. the fact that we need to have a home that I, th I think these, these issues that I have on here about just kind of changing the way we show the edit links and um, showing some of that metadata, you've already taken steps to um, uh, show the maintainers. And I think that that little like metadata area could be mm -hmm. really uh, what, what amounts to a fairly minimal disruption to the page like NUX, but uh, a large improvement and it would give us a place to put the static site editor in a more prominent way where if we put it just down in the footer, chances are nobody's going to find it or mm. no, nobody, but fewer people will find it. And um, if we make it like the default styling on the project template where it's like hovering fixed on the page, I think too many people will see it and, and think that we replaced the other ways of editing. Um, mm. And I don't think we're ready for that either. So yeah, I think if, if you're comfortable with it, kind of running with that, uh, that concept for the, for showing the maintainer on the, the handbook pages and, and adding a few other bits of metadata common to every page, we could, we could build out a, a nice little, um, a nice little static fixed widget on on every page that houses all this stuff. Mm. Um, yeah. So specifically, I'm looking at the showing the last updated information. So we will have the maintainer. And then we can say last edited by so-and-so on this date. Um, mm -hmm. And then pulling the edit links out of the footer and bringing them into, they don't have to be, I'm not, I don't want to dictate. They don't have to be next to the maintain, but pulling them either to the top of the page or in that widget or somewhere where it's more prominent. And then mm -hmm. in 13.3, knowing that we'll like have maybe a third option. So it's like edit raw, edit, in web IDE and then um, edit in a static site editor. Cool. Yeah, I'm just taking a quick look at the that issue for edit the page. Mm -hmm. It's been open for like eight months and then there's a lot of uh, thinking around that. So yeah, I'll take a look at that before I jump into this yeah. one. It's, um, I think it came to a conclusion that I don't necessarily agree with the direction, which is to duplicate the links. I think we just make them um, more prominent and, mm -hmm. and take that little footer away. Um, but that's that's just a proposal. We can, we can tweak it. Would you take a data informed approach to that? Like have both running and then remove, or would you just go gut feel and remove the bottom one? Because we feel like the bottom it's like so far down at the bottom like basically below the footer which is gigantic anyways so it's like yeah um yeah this yeah. is an interesting product question from, from my perspective just to understand like your thinking probably like yeah i mean i've i've talked with enough people which is not uh, mm. by any means like i haven't talked to hundreds of people but i've talked to enough people that didn't know those links were there to mm. know that they're not the most visible and accessible yeah. links. And then I've used it enough times to know that it's very frustrating to like see something I want to edit and then have to 
scroll mm -hmm. way down a really long handbook page and click edit. Um, if the edit bar is fixed on the page, either on the top, bottom, left, right, mm -hmm. wherever, mm -hmm. um, people see it more. And, and mm -hmm. I don't think it's great practice to duplicate actions like that on yeah. the page. So, um, I would prefer to just have one set of more easily accessible actions. Um, cool. So that's, that's I'll, I'll update the yeah. issue to reflect that and make sure we're not confusing anybody, but hopefully this is just a matter. It's this is a CSS change. Like this yeah. isn't like a yeah. functional change and people will just say like, Oh, well now it's over here and it'll take a little adjustment. But yeah, um, we're talking mostly about internal team members and uh, we can communicate that. If we need to like A B test it or roll it out slowly, I don't I can't imagine why, but it'd be easy enough to revert if there's giant pushback against it. Yeah. And the other way around this, um, I also agree that you shouldn't have multiple paths because it just makes it hard for documentation and hard for testing. And um perhaps when we move it, we just have one of those things like, hey, we moved the buttons. Then they're up at the yeah. top here if you didn't know. And if you didn't yeah. know that, you could even edit. <laughs> yeah, especially because they're in the bottom of the footer. We could just say, like, looking for the edit links, like, they're right there. Um, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I think that's really, like, the next couple months. I mean, we're going to get feedback. We're going to have um, we're gonna have more stuff come up. I'd really like to uh, keep momentum on the, the editor itself. Uh, once we clean up the UX, I think the shortcuts for the markdown um pro users would be a great thing to do in 13.3 and then i'm i'm anticipating a lot of well let's not say roadblocks but like a lot of new information uncovered as we start to integrate into the handbook so i'm leaving in my mind a lot of space in 13.3 for addressing whatever that is um but we're not talking about planning 13.3 that's why we were one release at a time um, 13.2. Oh, the, yeah, and there's some carryover for the um, non markdown content. So we'll, mm. we'll try and knock that out in 13.2. Yeah, I, I feel really good about this uh, release. I'm excited to record the video. I think we're going to have a lot of like uh, user facing value that, that we can mm. talk about um, addressing, you know, UX feedback from the first couple uh, releases. And then, um, yeah, I mean, uploading images would be amazing. Um, and I know that the, there are a lot of GitLab team members that are anxious to get this integrated in the handbook. So it'd be just amazing if we could point them in the direction of like a, a demo or just a page mm. that can be edited by the end of mm. uh, July. Mm. Cool. So July, end of July. Yeah. Um, Cool. So you uh, touched briefly, like thinking about 13.3, that, that wide open space of what things could be. Um, so going back to solution validation and like some of the themes that you might, you and I have, have like talked on the side around like the problem validation exploration. Um, so last week I did some exploration on like the whole idea of simplifying the publish and merge flows and thinking about how that would work. I th This week, I want to put together an issue so that we get research on board to start help us recruit people um, to test out some of these workflows so that when we reach 13, like, like midway 13.2, we have a good idea of like the direction of where we might be taking some of the editor experience. That's great. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah we can like start tackling because some of these things I, I don't think we might answer in one research session like should we approach it like a cms or a live editing site mm -hmm. i think that's that one's an interesting one um but like the flow is something that i think um you and i could probably have a good gut feel about what should be there um but it's good to get that sense checked before we commit engineering time towards it and then yeah and then, yeah, if it changes after after that, I think that's part of life and product to like always learn and uh, iterate. But 
uh, right now, I think it's just in our world, like in your head, my head, like us as a team, we understand how we want to take things, but um, yeah, I feel like we should bring in some other people, just like clickable prototypes or semi-realistic ones, but just to get the flow and kind of those higher level things start fleshed out so that we can build lightweight prototypes. Yeah, I think that's that's perfect. I and mean, I agree that that's going to be probably our next focus that um, and probably after this, I would say a good opportunity would be how and if we handle editing multiple pages mm -hmm. um, and creating new pages like like page management or, you know, like uh, multiple page edits and things like that. Um, and I think that would be a natural progression. And I, I would guess at this point that, uh, let's see, this is 13.2 or 13.4.5 and potentially six will be us solving like those bigger things. And yeah. that's when we'll, we'll be getting more mature as a feature and, and we'll be able to potentially offer things like create a new page from a template and, um, you know, edit the, the YAML front matter using a little settings menu and things like that. Mm -hmm. The, the yeah lots of exciting stuff to tackle in that following quarter but getting ahead of that with some uh some real feedback would be fantastic so that sounds mm -hmm. great it's a good um good call to get started on that this week okay cool so um i'll get started on that and yeah since this week's a shorter week probably by thursday is when i'll have like late Wednesday, Thursday is probably when I'll have the issue kind of sorted out and then we, we can discuss on that. Perfect. And I'll, I'll try and do my best to round out some of the uh, just like expectations that I have uh, in an issue mm -hmm. so that it's out there. Um, mm -hmm. They're, like you said, they're, we've talked about them and I think it's mostly in our heads um, and I think they're broadly discussed in an issue. Like we need to, you know, show some information about the MR as it goes through, but I'll try and, um, get a little more detail in there and mm. make it really clear the goals and, and like what user flows are really trying to enable. And that way, you know, there's something to go off of. Yeah. Cool. Um, what might help or might distract you, I'm not sure which way it might go, is um, last week, I, I'll, I'll add the link to this issue later. Um, I attached a few prototypes and um, thoughts around the MR flows, um, kind of uh, mm -hmm. what that might look like. So if um, people haven't had the chance to look at it yet, I'll link that uh, issue to um, the notes today. So that might give you where I'm thinking about um, handling starting an MR um, and then the idea is that like returning to an MR would be not so crazy or difficult because it would be like, would you like to join an existing MR or start a new one? And then you can always go and change the branch for MR afterwards, but yeah. Yeah, it sounds great. Cool. Oh, um, that's pretty much on my side this week is, um, yeah, I don't have anything else further to add on to that. Um, I'm looking at, yeah, tidying up things for 13.2. Um, so the success thing, I, I know every day last week I was saying I was looking into it, but really I was looking at the bigger thing, which was like the merge publish flow and seeing what elements from there or what simplifications from there should we bring over to the success screen? Um, because part of me doesn't really think that it really needs to be there, but um, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a tidy up. So maybe one step there would be to remove the branch and commit IDs and seeing what the impact of that, where the only thing you have is the link to the MR. Um, mm -hmm. to, this is in the spirit of simplifying what information we actually give the user in the static site editor view because the thing sure. that's important is the MR in this scenario. The commits are kind of secondary and we can always use the 
MR or branch view to view the commit. So that, that's almost like a lot of information and we're trying to balance that. Are we, you know, we're trying to set an identity of ourselves, be more focused and uh, focus on the content rather than the Git side of life, but giving you that option to go into Git if you need to. Yeah, sounds great. All right, well, um, yeah, this sounds like a great plan. We will follow up throughout the week about that research um, issue and I'll add some details and um, yeah, I'm excited. Cool. I will um, stop the recording. Uh, thanks everybody for watching.